Hi, this is Dr. Justin, and today's talk is on proton pump inhibitors. So we've all heard of those proton pump inhibitors. We got a couple right here. They're known as PPIs for short. Uh, one would be Prilosec. That's a common one. We actually have some over-the-counter versions too, is known as Omni. The other one known as the purple pill or Nexium. So essentially what these medications are doing, they are decreasing the levels. So this is your stomach right here. They're decreasing the levels of hydrochloric acid. So these drugs are proton pump inhibitors. So what happens is hydrogen essentially gets popped up into the stomach lining and it joins with a chloride molecule to form hydrochloric acid, or HCl for short. So what's happening is these medications are actually inhibiting hydrogen production, so it's knocking out that hydrogen molecule. So that's really important because the HCl is designed to essentially decrease the pH in the tummy. Okay, so we all know pH is a scale of 1 to 14. So the most basic or alkaline would be up in the 14 level. The most acidic is down here. And then right in the middle is neutral. That would be like where water is. So essentially our tummy is about a pH of 2. So it's very acidic. The reason why it's designed to be that acidic is so, one, it can start breaking down protein. So the main thing that's actually broken down in the stomach is protein. So one of the main signs or symptoms that would tell you if you're having protein maldigestion is if you're burping up a lot. Can you kind of smell that bacteria, that, that fermentation, putrefaction, or rancidification of that protein in there? That means it's probably not digesting properly. So we need hydrochloric acid because this low pH actually activates a lot of different enzymes as well. These enzymes do not activate unless the pH is very low. And then once the food is then released from the stomach and it goes into the duodenum or the first part of the small intestine here, if it's not acidic, what happens is the, the gallbladder produces bile that now breaks down fat. So if we have an acidic pH here, the gallbladder pumps out bile into the small intestine. So bile helps break down fat. So we have this beautiful cascade, proteins being broken down up here. And then we have fat being broken down right down here. So protein, fat. So by taking the PPI, you are actually destroying that beautiful cascade of protein digesting and then fat digestion. So protein to fat is this beautiful domino effect. If we don't get the protein phase complete, then the fat domino is not going to fall either. So what's actually happening that's causing these symptoms? So we start having, let's say we start having some acid reflux. So what typically happens is we have food, let's say we have uh, a steak, and the steak sits in our tummy. If we don't have enough acid to break it down, it literally starts rotting. And from the rot, we have organic acids that start putrefying and ferment and rise up and actually start burning our esophagus. So one of the main ways we actually can fix this, even though we're having that feeling of acidity, one of the main ways we can fix it is actually taking hydrochloric acid or even doing one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Typically we find if you do one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with your meal and it actually starts resolving some of those issues, typically you would do better with full HCL with enzymes as well. That would help even better. And what we find is when we decrease this whole rancidification process, we're going to see less burning, we're going to have better digestion. Remember. We need all this hydrochloric acid, one, to break down protein, but it's also very important to ionize minerals such as calcium, magnesium, zinc. Um, all of these minerals are really important for bone health, for thyroid health, to break down B12. A lot of the nutrients that give us give our energy and help power our thyroid gland. So you can see when we take a proton pump inhibitor, we cause a whole cascade of problems. We're actually going to decrease protein breakdown absorption. We're going to decrease fat breakdown and absorption and all of the different minerals I just mentioned. So one, figure out the underlying cause of this to begin with. Most of the time, hydrochloric acid is at the foundation, but we also find a pesky bacterial infection known as H. pylori as well. 
So usually getting the enzymes and the HDL and addressing the H. pylori infection is going to be the most kind of foundational thing you can do to really get your digestion on track. Remember, all this protein makes your hair, skin, and nails. So if you want to look good, feel good, and perform well, get your digestion back on track. Uh, this is Dr. Justin. Hope you enjoyed today's talk. Thanks. Have a great day.